Hello, I wish to register a complaint. Hello, miss. What do you mean, miss? Oh, I'm sorry, I have a call. Monty Python was a thing you aspired to, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I suppose that was the, the start of, you know, it's, that's what you used to go and talk about at school. But everyone says that, but it's true. It's stone dead. No, no, it's resting. All right, then. If it's resting, I'll wake it up. Hello, Polly. I got a nice cuttlefish for you when you wake up, Polly Parrot. Then it moved. No, it didn't. Well written, well directed, well acted, and really uh, funny. Funny, funny stuff. It's just down to performance, personality, and you yeah. just buy into it. The premise is just simple. It's a dead parrot. Do you know what I mean? Simple and funny. The dead parrot has gained comic immortality, resurrecting itself again and again to tickle each generation of sketch lovers. I wish to register a complaint. It's a shop sketch, isn't it? Everybody has got shop sketches. They tinkle, tinkle, come in, you know. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, sorry, uh, we're closing for lunch. Never mind that, my lad. I wish to complain about this parrot. What I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh, yes, the, uh, the Norwegian blue. What's, uh, what's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. It's dead. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> it was based upon a sketch we'd done for a, how to irritate people, which was based on the man who used to sell Michael his car. No, never. Never any trouble. If you have any trouble, I'll bring it in. Look, I have had some trouble and I have brought it in. Will you have a look at it? Well, it's a bit difficult at the moment. You see, everyone's off at lunch. Whatever is wrong with the car, they just say, all right, bring it in, we'll have a look at it. And, and anything, you know, so I'm afraid the, the brakes have locked. Oh, well, they're new. <laughs> the back door falls off. No, 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 no. <laughs> we thought there's a very funny setup there, but, but cars is too obvious. So what could it be? And then we thought pet shop. And then we had a bit of an argument about whether it should be a dog or a, or a, or a parrot. This parrot is no more. It has ceased to be. It's expired and gone to meet its maker. This is a late parrot. It's a stiff, heavily written sketch, you know, and it's, a, it's baroque, isn't it? Roger's thesaurus actually wrote that sketch. <laughs> Once you move into all the possible world, words for death, it becomes, it becomes hypnotic almost. Bereft of life, it rests in peace. If you hadn't nailed it to the perch, you would be pushing up the daisies. It's run down the curtain and join the choir invisible. This is an ex parrot. <laughs> I think it works because you can't believe that they're actually having a dialogue like this. And when I bought it not half an hour ago, you assured me that its lack of movement was due to it being tired and shagged out after a long squall. <laughs> it's got to be pining for the fjords. Pining for the fjords? What kind of talk is that? It gives John a chance to really play that level of m mania. Oh! Never, you never go, oh, this is some crazy person. That, it's because it's born out of frustration every time. Polly! Suppressed rage, people trying to hold themselves together while being on the verge of losing it, is, I think, very funny. I've got a slug. <laughs> Does it talk? Not really, no. Well, it's scarcely a replacement, then, is it? When we did it on the Monty Python stage shows... Hello, Polly! People would shout out the line before we did it, which used to irritate John, because he'd be doing his moment of comic pause, and someone would shout out the line, so he'd give a look at them, and he'd look at me, and then he'd get on with it. I mean, I love watching it when it was down the line and they'd been doing it forever on stage, and Palin is just crying with laughter and trying to rein it all in. You stunned him just as he was waking up! Norwegian blue stunned easily! Now listen, matey, I've had enough of this! And John Cleese is really going for it, clearly trying to make him laugh. <laughs> the fact that it continues is what amazed me. It's 35 years ago. What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. It's dead. That's what's wrong with it. Part of our culture, really, isn't it? It's like stay away to heaven, isn't it? <laughs> so it is. <laughs> right. 
There's your money back. A couple of holiday vouchers. Thank you. The parrot sketch has been knocked from its perch. It has ceased to be our number one. It is an ex-favorite. Join us after the break to see what has taken its place. 